glad you're back home. Thanks. Good yeah. to be back. I was hoping everything would be all right. Thanks. What were we talking about? The future. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I don't know what the future holds for me. I'm just glad that I have one. It uh, looked pretty grim there for a spell, didn't it? We all knew that you were innocent. We were just praying that somebody would prove it. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the prayers. Mm. And they were answered, thanks to Sean and Robert. A lot of other people that stood behind me. One in particular, if I could only find out where she is. Prunella, uh, any word? Oh, what about? Felicia. Has Sean found her yet? Now, what's your hurry, lovey? Prunella, don't play games with me. Oh, I haven't heard from Sean yet, but not to worry, lovey. I mean, it may take some time to track her down on a big ocean liner. I mean, do you realize how much of this earth is covered by water? Australia happens to be surrounded by it, and even though Thank it's you. an island... Thanks, the... Prunella. I'm going to call Sean. <laughs> What well, can you think of any ideas of where he might be? Oh, well, I'm sure he's out looking for her, loving. Look, relax. The worst is over. Yeah, I hope so. Colton, I'm sorry I missed the festivities. I had to get back to the hospital. How you feeling? Anxious. How about Felicia? Yeah. It's like I'm still on the hook, you know, and she's the only one that can take me off. I'll tell you what, why don't you come over to our place tonight for a victory dinner? Oh, thanks, but I'm waiting for a call from Sean, or better yet, Felicia. I'm sure Quinella could have it forward. We'd love to have you. I could use a little home cooking. Why not? Good. I'll let Simone know. Okay, thanks. I am so glad to hear you're not leaving the show. Yeah, what would the Colton connection be without the man himself? Well, I haven't really announced what my plans are going to be. Well, what are your plans? Tune in tomorrow. I'm going to lay everything out then. <laughs> I guess the rush is worn off, huh? And then so. Well, I can tell you exactly what you need right now, and that isn't a home-cooked meal, although that will help. Okay, Doc, tell me then, what is it that I need? Felicia. Don't worry, Colton. Sean will find her, and you can tell her the good news. Yeah, what good news is that? You're having dinner with me and Simone. What do you mean, what good news? You're a free man. Isn't that worth shouting from the rooftops? <sighs> Nothing's changed, Tom, not really. Colton, we're here in my living room, not in a jail cell. That makes all the difference in the world. Well, not to me, it doesn't. I mean, just because I didn't actually fire the bullets that killed Frisco doesn't mean that I'm not guilty. It does to the law and everyone else. Look, I went into that warehouse for one reason and one reason only, to kill a man. I did not succeed, but not for lack of trying. You know what I'm saying? But don't be so hard on yourself. You don't get it, do you? I pulled the trigger. It could just as easily have been my bullets that dropped Frisco. But you didn't know what you were doing. How many times do I have to tell you that? You were brainwashed and, and drugged. drugged. I know. But all the brainwashing and all the drugs in the world shouldn't be able to turn a decent human being into a killer. But decent human beings make mistakes, too. They get in over their heads. You're not Superman. <laughs> Nobody expects that of you, at least of all Felicia. I wouldn't blame her if she never forgave me. Give her a chance. You really think there's a chance? <sighs> Colton, before you realized you were involved in Frisco's death, you and Felicia hit it off beautifully, true? That was perfect. Well, now that you've been cleared, what's to stop you from resuming the relationship? What are you saying? That we just... Ignore the past? No, 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 no. That's impossible. But you can't dwell on it. You can't let it ruin your future. You just get on with things. Hmm. Easier said than done. You want easy or you want Felicia? Hey, soup's on. Anybody want to help me with... Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put dinner back in the oven because I know it'll keep. Don't no. worry. Uh... <clears throat> it's all right. We're finished with our discussion. Come on. Let's eat. Here, let me help you. Oh, now, maybe Sean got the message wrong. I can't believe that Felicia hasn't called by now. Well, you could always ring him up and ask him how to get in touch with her. 
That's a great idea. Pass me the phone, would you? <laughs> Kelly's. Oh, yes, operator, no problem. Is it... Mrs. Jones is waiting to be connected. Uh, would you mind ringing Mr. Shaw's private number? It's just upstairs here. I suspect he may want to take for his uh, particular call alone. Oh, oh, yes, he'll be there in about five seconds flat. Yes, the number is... Five... some news. I heard. You did? Oh, shoot, I wanted to be the one to tell you. John couldn't wait. <laughs> you should have seen me when that judge handed down that decision, boy. I wish I could have. Congratulations. Thank you. I wish you could have been here, too. Yeah, you must be very relieved. I just, I can't describe how I feel. How about you? What do you mean? Are you relieved? That's what really matters to me. It does? More than I can say. Couldn't be happier for you, Colton. To tell you the truth, I... I really didn't understand the whole story. Anyway, I, I don't think I ever really believed that you could be capable of killing any, anyone, especially Frisco. Like I know you believed in me. I guess we kind of got to each other, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we sure did. So, um, how's the cruise? It's fine. Uh, yeah, you know, I was uh, once asked to go on a cruise around the world, but I refused. Why? Well, I said there was someplace else I'd rather go. <laughs> Grandmother and I were having a really nice time. You know, it's just that with the news. What? What, what the news what? I'm free. Things won't be quite so bad around here anymore, is that it? Right. So what about you? What are your plans? You must be really anxious to get on with something after that whole ordeal. Yeah, I... I wish I could go right now, but I can't. Not just yet. I've got a program to do tomorrow, you know. Oh, yeah, the show must go on. What next? I don't know. I guess I'll just kind of play things by ear and uh, see if I could get a better offer. Right, one day at a time. The only way to live. Yeah, right. At least until I figure out... Uh, how things stand. But listen, Felicia, I don't know how much time we have. Colton? Hello? Hello? I'm right here. Sounds like we have a bad connection. Listen, before we get cut off completely, there's... there's something that I need to say that I want you to hear. I'm so sorry that I caused you so much pain. If I could do it all over again, there's... We both changed so much. Um, there's one thing that... Um, that would remain the same. The way I feel about you. God knows I love you. And regardless of what's happened in the past. And no matter what the future holds, 
I just want you to know that that you mean everything to me, and you have to believe me when I tell you that I love you very much, Felicia. I love you, too. I do. I love you. Felicia. Golden, are you there? Felicia. Play school, we know the dark can be a really mysterious place.